Hey guys, I'm Project Slammy, and I am a fucking idiot. Never mind this guy. Jesus Christ. So, I... I don't know, I guess Lavender Town Syndrome got to me. But, um, the poke flute... Oh shit, I didn't fight that guy. Oh fuck. Let me get away from this guy. Um, it's not a tangible item in this game. It's actually... I should have played it in Lavender Town so I didn't have to deal with that music. But it's actually... I got it. No, that's not it. Where is it? That's it. See? Isn't that cool? I'm about to wreck it though in a second. See, this is what annoys the shit out of me. I hate the constant changing music like that. Here, let's go. Oh, shit. Actually, guys, I will meet you back here in a moment. Okay, well, you know what? Oh, there's only one Snorlax. Okay, so I'm just gonna fly over there. Alright, for some reason, I thought there were two Snorlaxes in this game. There isn't. There's only one. You only have one chance to catch Snorlax. A.K.A. Fat Stuff. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go catch Fat Stuff. And that's what we're gonna do this episode. And then we're gonna head somewhere else. <laughs> that sounds like a game plan. Doesn't it? Here. Let's, uh... Stock up like a motherfucker. Whoa, I didn't want to spend that much. Jeez. Alright. I guess I'll, so I'll spend it twice. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Because I barely ever go to the Pokemon. I felt like going in there for you guys. So yeah, let's go over here. It's time to fight fat stuff. Now, um, here's what I'm going to do. See... The thing about Snorlax is it likes to go to sleep, it likes to do rest, and then it heals and like, you know, goes to sleep. I can't remember if rest heals the paralyze. I don't think it does. I don't think any move heals paralyze, honestly. I can't think of any. Unless it's like, um, a status. This thing gets really pissed off. Apparently it doesn't like my, uh... Me playing the recorder. It doesn't like the sound of a recorder. Because a pokey flute isn't a flute. You guys know that, right? Yeah, here's a wild Snorlax. Level 50. It's a pain in the ass to catch. And we're gonna do it. Because god damn it. This is what we do. This is what we do here in the Pokemon world. You do not fight the logic of gotta catch them all. So that's what you gotta do. Okay? So yeah, of course we're going to do our setup. And it, and Snore. Snore is an... Oh, shit. Yeah, it's got that leftover fucking shit. That I hate leftovers. Leftovers from what? But yeah, Snore can't do shit. Basically, Snore is a move that can only be used... Kind of like a... Kind of like Nightmare, but except it's the other way around. It can only be used if, uh, if the user is asleep. Which for some godforsaken reason, I put it on a Pidgeot when I was younger. <laughs> I don't know why, but I did. And that thing destroyed everything. When someone put me to sleep, I don't know why I did that, but I would just use Snore and they get really pissed. Oh, cool, I have a Master Ball. I'm not using that, though. Fuck that. That defeats the purpose. And I swear to God, down B does work. I don't care about any of the myth. Oh, well, no, no combination works. No, it fucking works. Okay, I need to put up a... Come on, come on. Oh, wait, shit, I'm pressing A. That's why it didn't work last time. I don't care what anyone says. Down and B always work. God damn it. Oh, no, he's gonna use roll out again. Shit. See, this is where Snorlax is dangerous. Um. Let's 
struggle. You go. So doesn't struggle still have reflect? Yeah. I'm afraid to hit him with anything. There we go. Good, he, he missed. See, he's really annoying with that. I wish I could use, like, Thief or something. Oh, God. This guy is such a pain in the ass to catch, though. Oh, my God. I might even fail. I might accidentally kill him and have to start over. I should have saved... You know what? I'm going to save state right now, guys. I'll be right back. Okay. I saved state. I'm sorry, but I don't want to risk it. Well, at least he can't use rest. Okay. Oh, shit. No, because that's his fourth move. God damn it. Oh, you motherfucker. Okay. Okay. I should have known this guy was going to be this much of a pain in the ass. I didn't think he'd be do doing this much shit. I might just say fuck it and throw out a Master Ball after all. Oh, but it's a female Snorlax. Now I have to catch it. No, I'm not saying that because I'm sexist. I'm saying that because it's rarer to get a female Snorlax than a male. For some reason, now I want it more because it's m one of the rarer Snorlaxes. Come on, come on. Yes! Okay, I did pretty good for that Snorlax. Ugh. The TLDR version of that about me for Snorlax is it eats everything. So yeah, now we're in Diglett's cave. Let's just head on through. And I'm going to show you the wonderful Pokemon that you've run into in this cave. And this is the only Pokemon. Diglett. That's it. That's all you're going to find in this cave. There's nothing else to look forward to here. We're not going to use Doug Trio, so we have Sandy, and Sandy is a much better Pokemon. Not as fast. Doug Trio, I mean, don't get me wrong, Doug Trio is one of the fastest. But, holy shit, that music took me by surprise. Forgot about that music. If that's a trainer, I swear to God. They kind of changed this music. Let's, let's listen to it for a second. Yes, yeah, see? They didn't have that, but... Are you fucking kidding me? And this guy probably has, like, a rat -a -tata, right? Yeah, yeah, I know, you're wearing shorts, okay? I get it, I get it. What is up with you people and your fucking fetish for shorts? I get it, you like being outside, you're weird, okay? You have no friends. Go away, no one likes you. Wow. Well, you know, I, I recently posted on my, uh, Facebook this thing where it was saying how, like, bees are cool, but, uh, yellow jackets are just assholes, like, because they don't help the flower flowers, and they don't want to just see what you're playing, and, you know, they just go after you for no reason, and that is so fucking true. Let me tell you something that happened a few weeks ago. Now, this is, like, mid-October, late October, like, around, like, October 20th. I, I don't remember the exact date, but it was a few weeks ago. Um, I was hanging out with my boyfriend, Matt. Now, I work at the mall. <laughs> and the thing is, <clears throat> we have, like, a courtyard. And I usually go out there with him on my hour meal breaks. And, you know, we sit and we eat and we bullshit. And sometimes we go into Barnes and & Noble. And, you know, it's just nice to sit outside. Because, like I said, I work during the day. So, it's you know, it's safe out there. It's nice. You know, we get fresh air. It's good I get away from the store. You know, whatever. So we basically, we were hanging out there. And I don't know what I did to this bee to piss it off so fucking bad. This fucking steroided out yellow jacket just charges me. And, like, I don't even know. Like, he just started buzzing around. He tried flying up my coat. And Matt hit him. And then another one came to help the other one. And he fucking stung him. Stung him right on the neck and it looked like a fucking hickey. So it's like he couldn't even bring me back to work because it looked like we had like this intense makeout session. 
It was really annoying. Like, ugh. But yeah, guys, this is Pewter City. Is there still that guy that will give me the... There isn't. Oh. Well, anyway. Ah, you came all the way out here from Johto? That brings back memory when I was a boy. I went to Johto to train. You remind me of what I was as a young man. Here, I want you to have this item I found in Johto. A rainbow wing. So apparently I can catch Ho-Ho in this game. Interesting. I'll have to look into that. <laughs> anyway. Let's see if the Pokemon Museum is open. Oh, wait. No, they took everything cool out of this game. It's closed indefinitely, isn't it? There's a notice here. Pewter Museum of Science is closed for renovations. Yeah, see, they, they just got lazy and they took out all the cool shit. So, yeah. All you have to do here is Pokemon Center and Brock. That's it. And, of course, he only has one dude, so we're just going to fight him in this episode. Why not? You know, battles could end up going a long time. Are you ready for this? Okay, dude, you're going to get squashed in, like, five seconds. For real. Come on, get real. You probably have a Sand Shrew, right? Sand Slash! Oh, he evolved from the first gen. I remember this guy had like a level 12 Sand Shrew. That's all he Oh, you motherfucker. I forgot. I forgot the switch. So you know what? Uh, Obsidian. <laughs> Come on, guys. You thought I'd make it a little too easy, huh? I, I didn't become the Pokemon League champion from, you know, doing the easy thing, because I chose the struggle of this LP, well, the struggle partner, and, you know, I, this, pretty much, like I've said, all LP, I do not play like this normally, I am just all out offensive, I got my fire Pokemon, I got my fucking Gyarados, I mean, I'm just ripped, the only Pokemon that I really use regularly on my team, and legit, the only Pokemon I use in my first, like, my premier team is Noctowl. That's it. I do n That's only because Noctowl is my favorite Pokemon. I love Noctowl. Oh, well, and I use Ampharos, too. Sorry, Naked, I forgot you were there. <laughs> but, yeah, I just use these two. I mean, who doesn't? I mean, because I need, I need my, you know, electric type. What can I say? You know? And I don't know, I just have Noctowl, because Noctowl is fucking awesome. But anyway, let's, uh, send Obsidian out there, because honestly, Brock's team goes down as easy as Bruno's Onyx. If I surf and Razor Leaf through this battle, it's going to be the most boring. It, it will literally last two minutes. So to give it a little more zest, I'm going to use, uh... Like Sand Slash. I can't use uh, Naked in this fight. He can't do jack shit. They're all part ground. So honestly, he's completely useless in this fight. Yeah, see, he has like a Graveler. It's probably like level 40. Yeah, level 40. So we'll just do this. Sounds like a good plan. I mean, and, and if Obsidian gets tired, I'll just finish off the battle. This guy is not gonna win. Period. There is absolutely no way he can win. I mean, I don't know. They should have gave them at least level 50 plus Pokemon if they were going to pull this shit. Like, this guy don't even have fucking ride on. Are you serious? Like, why don't you have a ride on? Train it three more levels, you lazy asshole. Alright, yeah, I get it, I get it. You're gonna hit me like three or four times. Okay, get it over with. Get it over with. You, you, Rhyhorn, you are way too good of a Pokemon to be using Fury Attack. Okay, that's, reserve that for the shitty Pokemon. Please, thank you, fuck you, goodbye. Okay. Who's next? See how easy this is? Well, Amistar, Amistar is pretty, Oh wait, oh shit, I fucked up my opportunity. Maybe next time. Okay, we're gonna use Confuse Ray. See, if I had Struggle out right now, honestly, we'd be on his last Pokemon right now. There's just... 
you know what I mean? Like, it's just too boring. Like, I don't know. I usually just play with type advantage on my normal playthroughs, and I just... Wait, did that hit? I don't know. Screech. I feel like knocking him down a bit. Oh, dick. Okay, that is way too shitty of a move for a level 42 Pokemon to have. If you have a level 42 Pokemon, it has some stupid ass move like Fury Attack on it. You you have problems, my my kind sir. Brock, you're supposed to be so much better than this. And when the fuck did you get an Amistar? Where did you get it? Where did you get that? I want it. Amistar is a very good Pokemon. I don't care what anyone says. I mean, he's kind of slow, but holy shit, he's a tank. Amistar is great. He don't even need speed, honestly. He doesn't. I mean, as long as you don't hit him with, like, a grass-type move, he's pretty solid. I mean, forget it. You hit him with fucking a grass-type move, he's dead. There was no hope for him. Okay, Obsidian, you did pretty well. I'm gonna switch you out now, because I'm getting a little... Eh. I don't want to feel embarrassed. So... <coughs> Don't take it that way. Don't take it that way. Uh, um, you know, just be a dick. <laughs> just to be a dick, I'm gonna do this. <laughs> it's probably gonna knock me out somehow, but uh, somehow, no, he's just gonna knock me out. Let's see, hypnosis. Nope, didn't work. I just want to be a douche, so. <laughs> I'm just gonna put him to sleep and confuse him. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh my god. Why am I so alive right now? I mean in real life, not in the game. Like, when I first started my recording... I'm on episode 5 right now of my recording session of tonight. And... I don't know. I don't know. I just feel awake now that I have my latte. I guess that's all I needed. And okay, Onyx, you should feel... You should feel ashamed of yourself right now, honestly. Anyone else agree Onyx should feel ashamed of himself? That's like when he lost to... This is the Onyx that lost to a fucking Pikachu. With a Thunderbolt. How the fuck does that happen? Don't even talk to me about the sprinkler shit. Okay, because that is bullshit. Onyx is not affected by electricity, period. Whether he is wet, whether he is dry, whether he's frozen, he is not affected by electricity. How the fuck did he lose to that Pikachu? I mean, I've done it before. I've beaten an Onyx with a Pikachu, but I've had my Pikachu at level fucking, like, what? Oh shit, what did I do? Well, you're going to bed. Go to sleep. Aha, I see him punked you. Okay. Um, but yeah, like, how, like, it is possible. I've done it in Pokemon Yellow. I have done it. Okay, but I have to level grind. I literally level grind my Pokemon to level, like, 25 in Viridian Forest. And all I have is, like, like, I would have, like, a Pidgeot, sometimes a Butterfree. I, I've explained this before, you guys know, but, you know, and then I got a Mankey. And I was like, oh, well, you know, Ash had a Mankey, so it's kind of like that. Because I kind of looked at Pokemon Yellow, like, following the anime. And that's, like, kind of how they forced you to play it. Because, like, who's going to turn down a fucking Blastoise on their team? Are you serious? I mean, no fucking way. I don't care how high you are. Nobody, nobody ever says, no, I don't want a Charizard on my team. In first gen, are you, like, are you kidding me? Nobody fucking does that. Ever. Ever. It does not exist. Okay, Brock. You just got sh you just got two rock Pokemon shit on my bird. Okay, I didn't even have to break out Struggle or, or Tentacle. I, I mean, Squidward. I don't have a Tentacle on my team. I just have Squidward. Alright, Brock. Alright. How How's breeding going on for you? Huh? That's like the creepiest thing. I don't know. 
Uh, has Brock ever even bred any Pokemon? I mean, holy shit. He wants to be a breeder. He hasn't bred one Pokemon. He hasn't even tried. Instead, he's trying to breed with everyone else in Kanto. Everyone besides Misty, at least. I don't blame him. Misty's a... Misty's a doozy. Alright. I don't even know why I'm healing on camera. But guys, I didn't even have to heal. But, uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode. It was pretty action-packed. I think it's a pretty good episode. And I will see you guys next time. Which is probably gonna be, like, ten minutes from now after I rendered this video. And, uh, in the next episode, we will head, head down yonder through the forest. And I'll see you guys later.